وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا All praises and adorations of you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Lord of the universe, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Him almighty. May peace and benediction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions, and those who follow his path till the day of judgment. Dear yeah, great brothers and sisters in Islam, fear Allah. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear the day that you shall return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his sake. Don't associate partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Serve Allah, worship Allah with pure ibadah and sincerity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it his for us on the day of judgment. They are great brothers and sisters in Islam. Some ulama and some of them said it categorically that yet it was, uh, it was taken from our great shade. Sheikh Adam Abdullah Alori, we love him so much. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him al Jannah. Mm -hmm. Baba said that uh, as a Muslim, or any human being, any sense, any body that uh, he, re he is probably raising well and he knows what he's doing, he said that he needed to fight about three things in his life for him to succeed in this dunya and to be among the successful and the day of judgment. He said, first of all, you have to fight ignorance. Nobody celebrates ignorance. I'm telling you, even that poor English that we are, we are speaking, nobody may like to tell anybody that I don't know how to speak English. That now we can tell people categorically, even honorably, let me put it in that manner, me, I don't know how to recite Quran. Shame on you. And some don't even know to perform abusha properly. Some don't even know Islamic monotheism. There is Aqidah, Tawheed. And every day and night, we know how to operate Android. We know how to operate iPad. We know how to operate laptop. We know how to do, we know how to drive. We know how to fly. We know how to even move to the space. We know many things. But we don't know much about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And God, you have to fight Jahad. If you cannot fight Jahad, Jahad will fight you. That is ignorance. And it will lead you to hellfire. You must be a knowledgeable person. Concerning your religion, it is obligatory for you to go and learn about Allah, to know Allah, to believe in oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to know how to serve Allah. Even though somebody may pray for 50 years, and Allah will not ever accept even single of his prayer. You must know, you must have knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first message to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is all about seeking for knowledge. But if, if not because of Khutbah, just which, especially men, we men, we know that. Just say that after this Juma, there shall be a, be, a, be a lecture for 10 minutes of it, you don't see anybody. But let's say that you normally seek for knowledge. But last some of you, let me tell you, somebody tell people, somebody may hijack your wife in agenda. Then it's, it's higher, she will be higher than you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give, give out to another person that is an, an, a level or higher than her. Because you, you are so weak. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fa'alam, you should not command. Fi'a amru fi jant. Wa quwwa wa shidda. It's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that seek for knowledge, you must know. The first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we should know, is it mathematics or English or medicine or what? Or business or engineering? No! He said that you have to know about Islamic monotheism. That is Aqidah Tawheed. Because without Aqidah, you are, you are finished. He said, what's definitely done be? Once you know Allah, your Aqidah is okay, you will realize that you are a sinner. You ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive your sins. Well, in more meaning, not only you. Greatness is bad, even spiritually and pocketly, and worldly, and financially. You say, what is mu'minin? And the entire mu'minun. What is mu'minat? And the female believers, you consider them also. And number two, the first revelation in the Gar Hira, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he commanded Jibreel to enter Gar Hira to manage himself. And Jibreel alone is bigger than this dunya. But because of the importance and significance of knowledge, he said, enter that cave of Iraq. Sheikh Muhammad is our most beloved person. Tell him that Iqra, read. And you cannot read. You can't be a reader. He said, you must learn how to read. That's learn. Prophet said, I don't know 
know how to learn. I don't know anything. He said, you have to read. And sometimes learning may require Koboko. <laughs> yes. Strike. Something must come up. If you see a great man out today talking, shouting, do you think that the God knows not very easy? You need to get your money easily. It's not easy. So that they read. So that you can't be a reader, you have to learn how to read. You cannot be a scholar or excel. You must go and learn to become a scholar. Not that the way we do in Nigeria. Everybody, when it's come to medicine, you go to hospital. They will say this one is a consultant. This one is a specialist. If somebody gives you a book, you will reject it, right? But when it's come to religion, someone, one day I was giving a lecture and somebody asked me a question. One small guy just answered. I said, you are praying with hellfire. You don't know the implication. Yes. Me now, I'm telling the doctor, medical doctor, I'm sick. Prescribe this drug for me. Or is this something or what? You are telling me, no, no need. Just stay prasama. You will kill that person. Yes. Knowledge is not very important. Knowledge of Islam is most important thing, let me tell you. We are not Boko Haram, not condemning. Western one also is very, is obligatory also. Because let me tell you, for you to be knowledgeable, in religious matters, in spiritual matter, you will be a successful, inshallah, in this world and on the day of judgment. If you are wearing a body girl with your English, you also are wearing my own. If your cap is shiny, my own also is shiny. That is reality. That is the knowledge of Islam. But let me tell you for you, if you don't want to serve and be following your mate, your peers, you also have to go and read. Learn English, not even only English. Any language that will uh, bring uh, this thing. Eh? Something reasonable to your own temple and your family. Go and learn. Because our religious professor said, go to seek for knowledge, there's need for you to even travel to see it. China. China, they don't know the Quran that, that time. They don't know. It's technology. It's time go there. Go and learn technology. You see, some other person who say, Jihad, Jihad, Jihad. Do you think Jihad now is all about using knife or cutlass? It's all about technology. Top technology. You have to fight. If you have the first one, you will be successful here, inshallah, and on the day of judgment, you will practicalize it. And if you are not successful here, inshallah, with, with Islam knowledge, inshallah, you will be successful on the day of judgment. But that one, only one, that one, your mathematics, and your medicine, and your engineering, and anyone that you have, inshallah, it will make you to be successful in this dunya. But if care is not taken, you will serve as a loser on the day of judgment. The first one is better than the second one. But the best thing is to combine between the two things. Lord and Allah, Lord, light upon light. Be a knowledge person. We have seen many doctors, engineers, they are memorizers who first in the Quran and Kareem. Some of them, they, they know how to recite even perfectly the emotions of all them are, some imams. You can do this, you can combine. If you can read textbook for many hours, can't you sit down to memorize Quran and to have more content of this uh, Quran? That is of issue of this knowledge. You have to be knowledgeable. You have to don't play with it. What it, 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 this is spiritual and worldly and anything that will benefit you, you have to seek for this knowledge. The second one, the second thing that you need to fight, they will say Muhara, but you have to battle them. Is Adu, <laughs> Al Ada, enemies, and the biggest enemy of yours is the Shaitan. Since the one that you came to this one, Shaitan doesn't want you to succeed. She don't want to mislead you. She don't want to want you to be among his followers to hellfire. And you, you will say no. With your Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he told Nana Hawa and Adam, alayhima salatu wa salam, that is, didn't I want you of you? That is, shaitan is your real enemy. Inna shaitan alakum adu, fattakizuhu aduwa, innama yadu hizba uli yakur min ashab al-nar al-sayir. Shaitan is your real enemy. Don't follow Shaitan. Well, I tell you, what was in Shaitan? You also take him. Take him as your biggest enemy. Because he is trying to mislead his people to hellfire. Shaitan is your biggest enemy. That is why Allah SWT asked for that. Ask Allah SWT always to save you from Shaitan. He has strategy and logic and scope. He knows how to do things and he knows how to mislead people. Yeah, Allah SWT asked Prophet Muhammad SAW that he seek for my own this uh, revenge from me, uh, uh, from me so that to save you from uh, this uh, shaitan. And still we have small, small shayateen. Small, small shayateen are from human beings and human genes. Those people, they don't want you to do it. They don't want you to buy a car. They don't want you to change your car. They don't 
want you to be promoted in your place of work. They don't want you to do well. They don't want you to build. Those people, they are minor. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. Your Quran is enough for you. And your Askar, day and night, Askar, Sabah, one Masa is enough for you. Well, like, as if they see you, they just be vomiting. They don't know the reason why they are vomiting. You that you have Quran, you have your Askar, and you are afraid of uh, one uh, Jehovah. Which is, that is what? She can't do anything. Rather, if you see you, she bow down. Because you, you have Quran, Quran. You have light, there is light with you. You have battalions of Malaika, soldiers, security team. They are securing you. Nothing will happen to you. Because you have Quran. But you, know, you, you, are just, you, are, you are still putting something in the armlet on your waist. No belt, armlet. Eh? The day that that armlet will fall, what will happen? Or you are putting spiritual ring up to this moment, 21st century. Eh? Upgrading dunya worldly, you are not upgrading spiritually. Up to this day, you are still putting something under your pillow. I see one of my mother about 20 years ago. When he came back from his lecture back, everyone was a shame, mashallah. And he removed his babariga. You know how I got so angry? More than 100 lights. I said, shit, what is happening? He said, I'll be like, you don't do anything. You're a small boy. <laughs> and now we know many things. I'm not, I'm not only a small boy. The only thing is anybody that is above 40 is not small. Let me tell you the reality. And nothing is happening. That is shit. You know that you are calling people, you are still putting your blood. Eh? Or they will give you one, I will just walk with it. Nothing will happen to you, make money. Somebody can, let me, it, it may be practical. About two to three years ago, somebody came, who oh, I respect him, you know, you're a one this day. One mother. He came with you, know, he gave me something. He said that he used, oh, man, this, one, took me, this is secret. Maybe he may listen to this language, I will release it. I don't care. <laughs> yes, you know, he said, take this song. If you use this song to bow, you'll be making money. You are the man, you need serious money. <laughs> that is a If you see one, you will see it's your proper gym or something like that. There's a last one that I've borrowed that one, but you will need it. <laughs> huh? That is it now. It's higher. It will not deny your agenda. Inshallah. You know, he gave me, he said, I use this one, and I kept it actually. On my wardrobe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I saw that so. I said, You are still there. I said today, today. I don't have to move it and put it on those feet. And I could never forget it was on Thursday. After my days I prepared, I left home. And I reached my tower, one big man just met me. He said, Sheikh, I've been seeing your lectures and all this. Thing. Let me have your card number. And he put money that I will never disclose it yet. Somebody should not disturb me. When I saw it, I said, Alati, he said, take it. I said, I'll have all this for small alert. Send me 5,000 and I do what? Is it for the check card or for this? You, you dash your imam 2,000 and I will see you want him to appreciate you. Shame on you. But if you don't have no problem. You know, I do mean that I use that song that day. I said, this song? This song? Mashallah, it's bringing money. I said, Baba, bring another one. And I said, from today, Ya Allah, I believe so much more in you, Ya Allah. You have to fight Shaitan. And finally, you have to fight fakr, poverty. And that one is, the, is terrible, it's not easy. Fighting poverty. Even Prophet Salah understand. Don't say that I just want to be there as a poor person. It's wrong. Don't say that. Even Prophet Salah did not say that. He is there. Asking Allah SWT day and night. Allah may now all the men and kufr and fakr. Allah may now all the men and kufr and fakr. Allah may now all the men and kufr and fakr. Allah may now I have more than 20. That is a strong name of looking for risk. If you apply them, Allah will open the door for you. You may not be like that with and it's not necessary. But mashallah, you'll be okay. You understand me? So that you have to fight fakr. Because too much of fakr will lead to kufur. Yes. Even if you have Allah is the only people that build that this is massage. Where will you be? The people that observe hard, where will you be? The people that are giving zakat, where will you be? And you, you as a poor person, you don't serve Allah all You don't serve Allah. And rich people, they are in self plan first plan and you, you are, you are the last. And you are suffering this today, you want to suffer on the day of judgment. You, you are driving somebody in this dunya. Don't you want to be your guy on the, on the day of judgment? If you cannot make it here in dunya, make it on the day of judgment. Yeah, Allah SWT bless me and bless you. Amen. Lastly, this we are in the month of Muharram. Sunday will be ninth of Muharram, and Monday, 10th of Muharram. Our target is 10th of Muharram. But we will do something, 
That is, prayers are like to go against Jehud or al Nasara always. Because he met them in Medina, fasting. He said, Why are you fasting? He said, We are fasting, tent of Mahara, because Allah said, We are not Musa from Pharaoh. Evil plot of Pharaoh. The brother said that we are Hakku Musa Mekum. We are closer to Musa than you people. Next year, we are going to fast ninth and tenth of Mahara. Because we don't want to emulate you. Because they say, Muhammad also is doing what we are doing. And I said, we will, we will fast ninth and tenth of Mahara. But Allah took him. Took his life. He didn't even with them. But it has remained as soon as so soon. He said that it's all the best way fasting of fasting Mahara. Taswa and Ashura is we are to fast. Tenth, ninth of Mahara, tenth of Mahara, and eleventh of Mahara. That one is fantastic. And if you cannot do that one, ninth of Mahara, that should be Sunday, and uh, tenth of Mahara, that should be on Monday, inshallah. And if you cannot do that one, fast only on Monday. Fast only on Monday. And you get double reward with Sunday fasting of Monday. It's been logical so that Sunday fasting of Monday also add that one. And the worst is for you to just fast only on night of Mahara. We are not targeting night now, it's not our business. So Rabbi Allah SWT make it easy. Rabbi Allah SWT has said this as a lot of people sorry, I'm sorry, I've taken your this is time, but I know it will benefit you. Even yeah. some people say that continue. We will not continue. We'll get the review on next week, inshallah. Rabbi Allah SWT has said this as a lot of people who have been here. Allah SWT has said this as a lot of people who have been here. Allah SWT has said this as a lot of people who have been here. Allah SWT has said this as a lot of people who have been here. Allah SWT has said this as a lot of people who have been here.